welcome to my channel thank you so much for tuning in um, if you haven't been here before and this is your first um, time uh, this is going to be a bit of a random one actually they're all pretty random uh, today's a day off and we don't have any plans so I'm going to be doing a bit of crocheting um, a little bit of gardening and not quite sure what else yet so in the diffuser I've got citrus bliss That's when I was supposed to get up, but I actually got up at 6.30 today and it's a day off. So Citrus Bliss is um, kind of upbeat, um, happy, um, obviously citrusy, um, and that's what's cranking over there. So, so far, basically throughout my vlogs, I've covered um, a few things eco, a few things um, digestive wise, a few recipes. Um, what else? I still haven't done a workout video yet. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I'll get that done in the next week or so. Okay, so today I'm hoping to finish my little faceless bodies of. I don't even know. Um, they will all eventually look somewhat like this guy. So what have I got? One, two, three, four, five. And I've got two here which I'm stuffing now. So it's that one and that one. Um, so I'll show you a little bit how I stuff them. So you do the legs first which I've done. to make sure it's kind of even in there as well and squishy so I'll keep going till I get to the top so I'll close that all the way up to the top So my crocheting is temporarily gate crashed by this needy butt face. You're so needy. Now you are. Why are you so needy for? What? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Just having a little wee bit of breakfast. I'm having a piece of toast with some Mavis um, crunchy peanut butter, banana and hemp seeds. And then I'm tackling some gardening. So I have not been inside my worm home for a little bit. So uh, it's been about two weeks. So I'm going to go in there and clean out all the nasties and tidy it up a little bit. And also tend to my poor garden. We do have a beautiful lily pilly tree, which is right above um, my garden. I love it, but yeah, it gets all the you can't see it, yeah all the little leaves and little caps off the flowers and stuff in there. Um, and also set as the ground, so I've raked up a bit of a pile, which I'll put some in my compost and some in the outdoor compost as well, or open compost, I should say. So we have a new addition to my garden. This, oh you can't see him. This little dude here is actually the cutoff from the baby cos lettuce that I got from the shop. So I bought one and then just replanted it and he's growing. So I'm going to do a couple of those um, and yeah, reusing my little plant sprouts. So because it's been raining for like a whole week. Today's like a massive catch up day on washing. Um, and I thought um, I'd just throw in a few things with, although 
I don't train as much as I used to. I still use my fundamental um, like movements in my daily life. So let's just say for washing example, everyone does washing. Um, and it is super important that when you pick up things, aka a washing basket, that we do it properly. So a lot of people when they do the washing might have it down low and would bend down, pick it up, bend down, pick it up. That is going to do crazy stuff to your lower back. Um, even when you're picking up the washing basket, a lot of people do this and pick it up. It's like a deadlift or a squat. Um, you want to literally bend and pick it up or even deadlift it. So you want to not have that curvy, you want to have that straight back, strong shoulders, bend your knees, use your butt, don't use your back, pick it up and put it on a higher space so when you you don't have to bend down pick up well let me hear another little sneaky trick don't know if anyone else does this but we do um, we hang clothes straight onto coat hangers so that we don't have to um, do it later <laughs> just a little sneaky tip hang it up and done and then you don't have to rehang it later on so um, one of the coolest things about a compost is not by just putting your scraps in there and watching that sort of get broken down into soil but things like cardboard um, household items that you would normally be using plastic and it would be around for years and years and years and years toothbrushes so this is my toothbrush, um, or my old toothbrush. So I use charcoal um, powder, which is why it's still a little bit weird on there. Um, so the whole thing is made from bamboo. Um, the packaging it comes in, including the cardboard box, plus the little sort of covery thing, is all compostable. So this will eventually be broken down into soil. Okay. So it's time to put my scraps from the weekend um, into my compost. First things first, we always mask up. Oh, hello, Wallet. Why are you guys trying to escape? Don't run away. So my garden was getting a lot of um, little leaves and flowers and stuff in it. As you can see, it's still a bit in there. So I decided to create a shelter with... We had these fencing, like it's kind of like pool fencing. We had that uh, for Zena um, as like a playpen thing and well, she outgrew it. So I put a bit of mesh on top and pray that it's not going to fall over. Um, so fingers crossed it won't be as messy. So another big thing that I did today was clear out a space. So this was all that. So when we first moved in there was a whole bunch of shit like this all through here with metal wiring, just crap, a whole bunch of sticks like this pile but heaps of big branches and stuff. Um, and we've been here about three years and I just kind of got sick of looking at it so I moved it all as much over as I could and now this is going to be an extended version of my vegetable so so far I've just done a little patch so this bit here is my um, worm one of the sections from my worm farm which still have some aliens in it um, which I keep here and I pick out the worms as I go and pick out the aliens as well but I don't want it to infest my clean home um, so so far in the veggie garden I've got my jalapeno plant it's got a couple little jalapenos on there um, and I've got my little um, baby cos 
I do have another one to put in here. I just got to get some more soil. So I'm doing it weirdly. I'm putting new soil in patch by patch um, with stuff for my worm farm, but also each week or so I'll grab some more fresh soil. Beautiful, delicious rose and pistachio. Cheesecake, I guess. She's always there. <laughs> Recipe coming up.